Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at an ESDA banner for the start line at Mega Space and one of the Big Duck Club cars here for the team spotlight of the Big Duck Club ESDA cars. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just found in the description box below. So the first car we're taking a look at of the Big Duck Club is that of mix s14 so definitely an amazing livery done by danger and you know send duck picks on the back wing it's a big duck club definitely a very cool group of guys and i love the yellow and blue livery change with the blue on the one side and the yellow on the other side danger did a great work on these liveries and stuff like that these cars are definitely amazing so the first one we're taking a look at is mix s14 definitely can appreciate the energy innovations logos the little cocked up you know hood in the back it's definitely amazing looking 14 so we can see what we can do here on mega space with it because that's where round two is and well we got to get all the practice we can so let's take a first rip here in the s14 let's get the full wheel cam on so we got the full wheel cam and pedal cam out for it we're gonna heat these tires up because they are not anywhere warm after sitting at that line Speaking to my shifter, because apparently my shifter likes to go in the wrong gears, and I don't want that to happen. In competition, you may switch it over to sequential style with a clutch for the round, just so I don't have any shifting issues. So we're going to go first run here in mix 14 here on Megaspace, so let's see what we can do. Here, lock. Chucking it in. Car definitely very, very soft. I noticed that when I started tapping the brakes. So transitioning is going to be. Yeah, you can tell it's diving on transition. Super grippy though. The wheel feel is much stiffer than the R35 that I'm used to running. So oh, definitely something to get used to. And there's that little grip transition. This car is crazy. But we all know first lap out is never going to be perfect because trying to get used to a new car. Sorry, dude. We kind of took off your uh, rear wing there. So Mega Space is definitely a very tricky track, and I feel like it's going to be a very interesting event for round two. With qualifying and everything happening this weekend, it's going to be very interesting. So we're going to shift that back over. Uh, I kind of want to adjust some lighting here on the camera for you guys so that it keeps not changing exposures on you due to light we have the window open and the you know everything going on so different lighting in the office for today so we're going to go with our second run here in the 14 then we're going to switch it up to another car we got four cars to take a look at here for today in the big duck club so first run not too shabby but we could do a lot better so let's go full send on the second run here drag that I wanted to. Gas light on. We're going to go for it. Like I said, this mega space track is definitely tricky. When driving all these different cars is very, very different. It came off that way too short. Did not expect it to throw the way it did. Overall impressions are on the 14. It's a very stable car. I got it. As I say that, we come under here. The transitions and the wheel feel, like I said, is a little stiffer than I'm used to. So it would be something I'd have to get used to, and we're out of gas. We couldn't even finish the second run. Ah, oh, we sat at idle for too long. Fail. Send help or send duck picks because uh, this car's out of gas. So perfect time to switch up cars. We're going to take a look at another one. So let's switch up cars and go back to grid. So we're starting off with all the 14s here, and then we have two BMWs to get to. So Noah's S14 is the next one on the block. I definitely, like I said, delivery's on point. And this one has a little bit of a flare with the underglow. We got blue underglow on the yellow side and yellow underglow on the blue side. So it's definitely awesome. Very amazing rear mount radiator back there with the working fans, radium fuel cell. Definitely a very awesome S14 energy, of course, on the window. Big Duck Club everywhere. Cosmos wheels, Danger Graphics. It is definitely an amazing looking 14. So let's hope it drives just as good as it looks 
in my hands. I know it probably handles amazing in Noah's hands. So we're going to go and see what we can do in this 14. Got to get the tires heated up here on Mega Space. So once again, the wheel feel on this car, just doing these burnouts, it's a lot heavier than my R35. So I definitely like a bit of a heavier wheel feel. I can adjust it on my Fanatec, which would be not a hard thing to do at all. But we're not going to really tweak with that right now because I would have my wheel set how I want for my R35. So first run in Noah's S14, second car in the Big Duck Club. I think we're gonna be fourth gear. Oh yeah, as I said, that's a really hard flick. I almost uh, kind of caught my wrist in the wrong area on that one. Yeah, fourth gear, ripper. Now these are also not any tunes. These are out of the box, so I'm sure these cars handle way better with a tune. But we got out to that zone pretty well, actually. Not too shabby, nowhere near a 100 point run, but a little wall scrape there. Quick transition out this way. Gonna bring it in, kind of tuck it through, try to get that front clip. An overall run on the latter part of this track. That was a very solid run in this car. I definitely like how the 14 sandal, of course, S chassis is probably one of the most dominating cars in the ESDA field for this season with a lot of S15s and a lot of S chassis being teched in. So it's definitely a very solid car with a lot of data to be had and data to be shared with everybody else. So that's why there is a lot of really well handling S chassis. So run two, we know the transition on entry is going to be a little bit snappy. So let's try and uh, manage that and get a really good full pull. Gas lights on, hopefully we can finish a full run. Not the best entry, but not a terrible entry either. Dropping a little bit of tire on the grass. Managing out to the wall, a little wall tap, sorry Noah. Oh, we sent that into the grass, oh man. We kind of sent that a little too hard into the grass. Was getting a little bit too uh, too comfortable and sent that into the grass. So we're gonna try it one real quick time because we had that dialed in almost. Like I said, these cars are not tuned. These are just how they are in the settings. So the cars are not tuned for this track. But if I were to get some tuning on this car, these cars are probably very dominant because they are very stable. Big Duck Club, nobody to uh, be, you know, looking at without some sort of fear in your eyes. They're definitely a very solid team. No danger for a while. So he's one of the guys that we we'll take a look at his car for today's episode. Dragon Wall, staying out of the grass that time. A little bit wide on there, but overall, not not too shabby of a run. That was a hard, hard flick. Can we bring it back in, though? We are able to bring it back in. Very twitchy, though, on the wheel. Like I said, the wheel's pretty heavy. So overall, a pretty solid run. I'll take that run. So let's switch up cars, get into the Euro chassis for two more cars here of the Big Duck Club. Of the Euros is that of Inks E46. Definitely love the E46 chassis. You know, they got S Autosports on there, Rotiform, Lico Molly, Falcon Tires, Danger Graphics also. And they also have the blue and yellow alternating underglow on opposite sides. I can definitely appreciate this car. No windows. I mean, pro cars don't have windows if you have arm restraints. So it's definitely cool to see other people running no windows, running some NRG seats in there as well. So definitely a awesome looking E46. We already have a gas light on. So... So we decided to spawn back to pits with uh, some more fuel load so we weren't completely out of fuel so we could actually get two runs in. You know, suck my duck on that back wing. Definitely some funny innuendos with the big duck club and uh, I can appreciate the humor. They did a lot of good work with these cars. That was a very turbo lag. Very big turbo lag section initiating a little bit past those other cones and definitely died out. So I need to stay in throttle for this car. So, you guys know my 
experience driving big turbo lagged cars or big cars that involve staying in high revs are not the greatest. So, you know, oh, we almost wrecked your car. Sorry, Ink. So, kudos to Ink for being able to drive it this way because, you know, it's not an easy car to drive for sure. And he, he's probably very dominant in this car. So, we stay in boost. There you go, you just gotta stay on throttle. Hang that out a little bit wider than I wanted to. But we got it. Didn't come up there as much as we needed to. Yeah, you just gotta stay in power with this car, flat footed. Make sure you come off transitions, full on gas with a little clutch pop. Ooh, just a wall tap, that's gonna send us way the wrong way. This car is a handful. It's a lot of fun to drive, but it's definitely a, a handful for me, and it's it's very, very tricky for me to keep this car in power. As you can see, it died out a couple times. It's just keeping the car in boost. We are at 100% boost, so it's just something that I would have to have a couple laps on to be able to get fully comfortable with it. So, GG Inc. for, you know, being super consistent and flowing in this car because you know I definitely have a little bit of a problem with it we almost crashed the car into the wall again locking up the brakes so one more run here in Inks for, uh, E46 and we'll take a look at Danger's new car once again a big thank you to all the guys for allowing me you know the keys to their cars and let me take their cars for a rip here on Mega Space and Irwindale. We're going to take these cars all do one run at Irwindale. We always end these spotlights off at Irwindale. That was a pretty good run through that section. We got this. We're starting to, starting to feel the flow on the 46 as I say that we smacked the wall. Sorry, Inc. We kind of wrecked your car, but we managed to get some decent runs in it. So we're going to take a look at the final car here at Mega Space for today's driver spotlights. So the next car up is Danger's E36 on GT Radials. Now he's not running the currently the E36, he has an E46 is running, but he's gonna be switching over to this E36. So big thank you for Danger giving me access to this E36 before it's actually in the field of ESDA. Once again, livery on point with the you know yellow and blue transition on both sides. Definitely really like that livery. So he's working on this car and trying to, you know, get it perfect. So it is still, I believe, he's got a little bit of work left to do on it. So it's definitely cool to see this car out here for you guys for to this spotlight. So we're going to go full send on it and see what we can do. So we're going to heat up the tires in Danger's car right now and see what we can do. I feel like we're going to be third gear with this car. This car is super gripped up, as you can see. It is just diving around, and the body roll and, tr and rip transition is insane. So big thank you, Danger, for allowing me access to this car before it's even out yet you know travis it looks like travis rear motorsports on the back big duck club danger graphics yeah looks like we're gonna be in third gear oh yeah this seems really gripped up you can just see how much the car is rolling and diving when i'm just flat foot it's got so much rear squat Oh, okay. Sorry, Danger, we kind of wrecked your brand new baby, and it's not even fully there yet. I'm sorry, we kind of went hard on the wall. Did not expect it to grip that much under brake. So, brake bias is definitely something I would probably have to tweak. What? For uh, not tuning this car? It's a fun car to drive. Locked up the front, as you can see, the brake bias is a little bit off. So, these cars are very heavy on the wheel field, which I'm noticing, which is insane. It's kind of, I love a heavy wheel field. I could have to, I would have to dial it a little bit better on my fan attack to get the feel that I'd want, but I'm not gonna like go ahead and start adjusting my wheel because I have it how set how I want for my R35. So we're gonna go one more run here in Danger's car, and then we're going to uh, hit up Irwindale for one run in each car, and end that episode off there. Once again, a big thank you to all the guys at Big Duck Club for allowing me access to these cars so that I could do this team spotlight of the Big Duck Club here at Megaspace for ESDA. Save it in the grass. We got it. We're good. Try not 
dig this into the wall this time. There we go. There we go. A little bit gentler on the brakes, and that's all we need. A little bit less on the braking will help us not dive this car into the wall. Pretty solid run in the first real run out of Danger Z36. Definitely love how this car sounds. It's definitely got a very distinct off throttle sound and big old fireballs. So we're gonna head up to Irwindale. We're gonna take Danger's E36 out first because we're already in it and we'll run them all at Irwindale real quick to end this episode off. So we do have Danger's E36 here on Irwindale. This car is very gripped up. We're gonna have to be very gentle on the brakes going through the bank. And I think we're probably gonna have to run third gear. Test this real quick. Yeah, we'll be able to run third. We'll be able to run third gear, but we gotta make sure we don't break too hard and go hard into the wall. Don't want to wreck these guys' cars too bad. They need them for, you know, this weekend. So first run, Irwindale. Danger Z36. Third gear pull. That was a very uh, interesting transition, but we're managing it quite well. Not a bad run here at Irwindale for, you know, just throwing it out here. Definitely like the E36 Danger. Did a great job on that. So we're gonna switch up to the other BMW of Inc's car and we're gonna go full send. So we're here in Inc's E46 and we're just gonna be risking it for the biscuit. We already got our fuel light on. We're risking it for the ducks. You know, big duck club. We're gonna risk it for the ducks here. Quack, quack, I guess and see if we can't cr not crash the car and make a full pull with a limited amount of gas. So this is probably gonna be fourth gear. Yep, fourth gear, transition in. Way harder than I wanted to, kind of over angled. We missed our way back up to the wall. Just on the inner clip. I really love the livery being blue and yellow difference it's definitely really cool so the e46 manages to make a full full run on gas we did not kill ourselves with gas so fuel consumption is not that oh yep yeah, we're, we're gonna lose gas soon so inks e46 definitely other than the entry very solid car here on the bank so we switch up back to the two s chassis and uh do two more runs here on Irwindale to end off this Big Duck Club Team Spotlight. All right, so we are in Noah's S14. Fourth gear is going to be the gear we go. Full send on oil. If we don't wreck the car going in to the start guns, we're good. That, that's exactly how I want to do this. All right. Those S14. Let's go full send. Fourth gear. Love the rear radiators. Oh, wow. I say full send. We really go full send. Other than that huge aggressive transition, we massaged our way back up towards the latter part of the bank little wall tap causing me to come off but overall a very stable car one or two more runs I'd probably be able to run full banks with this and have good time with this S14 so we got one more car to run here on Irwindale so we're gonna get in the other 14 with the big wing on it and see if we can't drag that wing on the bot on the bank and on the wall Final car here for the Big Duck Team Spotlight is Miss S14. Send duck picks. If you want some duck picks, make sure you send them to Big Duck Club. Looks like we're going to be running fourth gear, maybe fifth gear on the bank. Probably fifth. So we're going to go full send in fifth gear. See what we can do for this final run here at Irwindale for today's driver spotlight. And Team Spotlight of the Big Duck Club. Yeah, fifth gear. So we want to drag wing. We started to. Inching so close to the wall. Nice smooth transition. The 14 does transition quite smoothly. Not a dragging winglet though like I wanted to. 
but a very solid run on the last game of the Dragon on this intersection. Thanks again, a big thank you. We almost killed it. Big thank you to all the guys at Big Duck Club for on the access to all the cars. To do this team spotlight, definitely a good group of guys. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the description box below. I'll see you guys on the track.